The purpose of this video is to very briefly demonstrate specific motion testing of the pelvis. And our skeleton friend here is a uh, line supine, and this represents a posterior rotational spring test applied to the ilium. And of course, you would do that on both sides. This is a right to left pelvic side glide test. Uh, testing excursion right to left and then I would walk around and do the same thing testing left to right excursion and this is a pure posterior glide spring to the right pubic bone posterior glide spring to the left pubic bone and a posterior glide to the fibrocartilage and then this is a superior glide spring test to the pub and the left pub and this is an inferior glide, inferior glide. And you can also do a anterior rotational spring test on the, on the ilium, uh, anterior rotational spring test on the ilium. And uh, that concludes the test that we do in supine and then placing him prone. The specific spring tests are much more specific than the general test, such as standing and marching, um, while the landmarks are palpated. And um, so now we have our client lying in relative <laughs> prone position, okay? And the first test I'm gonna demonstrate is an anterior rotation on the ilium and anterior rotation on the left ilium. This is an inferior glide spring test. Inferior glide on the right. This is a posterior to anterior spring on the ischium which evaluates pubic mobility from the back and the same test here. This is a superior glide spring test on the ilium. Superior glide spring test on the right ilium. And now I'm going to do a outflare spring test on the left ilium outflare spring test which also evaluates for inflare and uh, now we're going to evaluate the sacrum and this is a pure spring on the lower half in a sorry pure posterior and anterior direction and then here's a spring on the top at the S1 segment above the transverse axis of the joint and this is a left side bending, left uh, rotation spring test. This is a right rotation spring test. This is a superior glide spring test, superior glide on the right. And um, when the person is sitting, we will spring each sacral quadrant, dividing it in four quadrants with a line across the PSISs, which is at S2. And so that test would look like this. It's a posterior to anterior spring on each quadrant, pushing in this direction. This is a inferior glide spring test to the sacrum. And then this is a side bending spring test to the ilium. This is an oblique spring superiorly. And this is an oblique spring inferiorly. This is a medial spring to the left ischium, and then this is a lateral spring to the right ischium. And this is just a pure posterior to anterior spring on the entire sacrum. And that concludes the passive spring tests, specific mobility tests to the pelvis in supine and in prone.